Spies, spies, spies. What are you at? Ah, back out in the old woods. By the time you watch this video, God knows when it will be. Uh, but it's the second week of April right now. And uh, yeah, just came out for a little break. Get away from the office. I feel like I've just been confined in my little computer room down in the basement, editing that Newfoundland series. It's like I've just been there flat out for the last few months, more or less. So I need to get out and have a night. It's been a little while. Over a month for sure since I've been out and had an overnight. Uh, me and Sackley went out for five or six nights there back in mid mid February that late February I think it was so over a month now it's been a while anyways but it's nice huh. I kind of felt like uh, spending all this time you know ending for YouTube and doing my stuff Super windy out now, hey? But I'm not complaining, I love it. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it's been a while since I've gotten out and, and had a night, and that's what I like to do. So every now and then you gotta do what you like to do, you know? You gotta reward yourself. Uh, and for me, you know, it breathes new energy into my, into my life, into my routine. And it was long overdue. So I'm having a Cliff Bar now, one of my favorites. Especially on my expeditions and stuff, I flatten Cliff Bars like two a day usually is my routine. Love a good Cliff Bar. This one's pumpkin spice, seasonal flavors. Mmm, deadly. And I'm gonna wash it down. Some trout blood. Yeah. This is uh, actually, you'd be, be interested to know that this is Chaga rum. And uh, it's, it's new on the market here. It's made locally in Newfoundland at the Newfoundland Distillery. And uh, I've been drinking it now for the last month. Delicious stuff, you know? Uh, I like a little bit of lamb's rum if I'm going to drink any rum, typically. And for those of you watching this from Newfoundland and Labrador, and anyone who knows, you know, what we like to do here on the island, and uh, a lot of people like to drink lamb's rum, and it's good stuff, but uh, I went off the beaten path here and supported a local company, and it's actually spiced, but it doesn't taste much like a spiced rum. Anyhow, delicious. So, cheers to the Chag of Rum. And, uh, it's good. It's good stuff. Don't want to lose that, do I? Little tiny stopper, but, uh, yeah. Beautiful flask. My mother gave me this. I think it was for Christmas a few years back, and I love it. Dandy by little trout. Wicked. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so I'd say by the time I get this video up, and it's only going to be a brief one as you're going to see. Just me getting out and taking a break, sitting back in the woods, hanging out with Saku and Beer. We're both having a nap now, but uh, I'd say it'll be sometime in mid-May or, or so by the time you see this one, I think. Unless I do a midweek video, because I have other ones that are due up after the Newfoundland series. 
uh, from the winter. Like that trip with Sacco and a trip I done with my buddy. Uh, we went ice fishing. So this is it. This is the shelter here tonight. You're seeing it. No precipitation in the forecast. So there's not going to be any roof overhead. Though there are some big uh, branches coming out on this balsam fir. And uh, they're heavily bowed. So there's some good protection above. But uh, as I said, no precipitation called for. And I like to do this sometimes. I don't do it much, but it's nice. Uh, I got my tarp for backup. Just in case anything happens overnight, I'll string it up quickly, but it's not gonna. Knock on wood. And uh, I got no sleeping pad. Just down to the, you know, the bare minimum. I got my sleeping bag, my winter bag. It's rated for, you've seen this one before if you've watched my videos. Just an old Coleman mummy bag, rated for minus 17. Blanket there for Saku to wrap him up in, though who, he usually doesn't like that either. Beer doesn't want no blanket. She's half husky, and uh, it's not supposed to get too cold. Minus two or something, which is cool for late because uh, it's been real warm, and as you can tell, there's no snow around me. There is some in other parts of the woods, and the river in front of me is partly frozen. Uh, so spring is in the air, no doubt, but it was warm for, it was warm for a couple weeks and that just pretty much killed all the snow. The last few days have been cold. It's nice. I love winter, you know, it, and right now it's almost like fall because it's not super cold and there's areas where there's no snow so it, it feels even though it's spring it has a fall feel to it but I, I like cold conditions I like cold camping cooler weather of course we have no flies to deal with you can sleep out in the open like this without getting eaten alive uh, it's good working weather you know I'm out cutting wood here I cut a pile of wood and broke a little sweat but if it was warm out, I'd be soaking wet, drenched with sweat. So. But I don't have much with me, no. Just got my bag there and got some good food to cook up, some good eats. What do I got? Potatoes and sausages, just some beef sausages and uh, asparagus for supper. I'll get that on the go soon. And then for breakfast, I just got bacon, uh, some a bagel, and some eggs, and a couple of little sweets. That's it. Not much. Starving now, actually. What time is it? Almost 6:30. That Cliff Bar was the first thing I ate since 9:30 this morning. So I put this fire up on a platform here, uh, real thick logs, three of them underneath, and uh, that's going to give a nice base for the fire, by the time I shut her down a few hours, uh, they'll be just about gone, but there'll be a nice base, and once the fire goes out, because I don't have that much wood cut, I mean I got a bit, but I'd say come... I don't know, come 11 o'clock or so, my wood's gonna be gone. I'll save a few sticks I got tucked away behind me uh, for tomorrow morning to have coffee and breakfast and stuff. But uh, I don't got much wood, so when it burns out, I'll have a nice bed of coals here to provide a bit of heat tonight when we're sleeping. But this is nice, right on, the, I can see the river out here. Beautiful. It's a branch of the Exploits River here in Newfoundland. So, uh, I 
forget the name of it now. Can't remember anyways, it runs into the exploits. So uh, it'll be a good spot for Atlantic salmon now later on this year. Get out and try to hook one of those. It's good fun. But yeah, that's it. What else is on the go? Woo! That was a hot piece of wood. I think I burnt myself. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, there's not much else on the go, you know? All is well. All is good in the woods. Here, I'll lay your blanket down, what? There you go. Lie down. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, Sack. Hey. Sack doesn't like the smoke, eh? He gets smoked out. Don't we all? Uh, yeah, as you can tell, it's blowing a gale. And, uh, I don't know, gusts are probably 45, 50 kilometers here for sure. And I could have went a little deeper back in the woods, but I wanted to be on the side of the river, you know? And I don't mind camping in a bit of wind, a nice fresh breeze. We got a little bit of stuff right here that's blocking the wind. And also, I'll show you now, hold on. Over there I also have, because the wind's coming uh, kind of southwest, I think it is. Anyways, it's ripping through here. So I cut some real, real big logs. It was a down tree there behind us. And I got that put up as a little, as a little windbreak. Because the, the fire was going crazy. But it's nice there now. Helping a little bit. And uh, I'll use those. Those will be the last three logs I use before I shut her down at night or whenever all this wood is gone. Because that's what I got there. A bit, you know? A bit of wood. But it's not going to get me through the night and that's it. I'll bundle up the sleeping bag then. Hey, Bear! Bear! What do you think? My dear? Come over with us, Bear. Hey? Bear don't want it. Bear, bear don't like being by the fire. And some people have uh, said, well, why is she always off to the side, or why do you put her over there? Bottom line is, because she wants to be over here, 99.9% .9 of the time. Away from the heat, away from the smoke, away from anyone. She does her own thing. Probably eat moose poop now. Hey! Bear! Hey! Give it up. Good girl. She had a piece of poop stuck in her tooth earlier, moose poop. Ah, that won't hurt her. Hey, Sack, that won't hurt beer. It's only all, all the moose are eating now, this time of year. Well, they're going to start eating a bit of grass and stuff like that now, but they're eating all the needles on the trees, you know? So, that's good for dogs, too. It's nice to sit back, take a load off. I can't even describe it to you, to come out and... Uh, I have cell service, but I got the phone that deep in the bottom of my bag that I don't want nothing to do with it. Just want to look at that river, look at the boughs blowing on the trees, look at the dogs having a time, Relaxing outdoors like myself and uh, have a few nips. A few nips of the rum, a couple of coffees, good feed. 
and mo most importantly is a good snooze breathing in that freshest of air out here I tell you that But uh, yeah, getting the wood was a bit of a racket earlier too. There's not a whole lot right next to this little site I got. So I had to do a bit of tramping back in the forest there behind us. I was like a little rabbit going underneath <laughs> some of the trees. It was tight squeeze. It was pretty dense to get back to a section that opened up. There was like a, a fence, a thick bush. So I crawled through there and found some good dead sticks. And... Uh, and then when I was bringing them back, I was like on my hands and knees crawling through this tunnel. Anyways, I got some wood over. And uh, as I said, that's it for tonight. Hope you get no more of that. I'm going to sit back, take it all in. The old flasky poo by look of her. Beauty, what? Huh? The old chag of rum in there. And uh, if you don't know what chag is, or chaga, or chaga, however you want to pronounce it, I don't know what it is. I call it chaga. Uh, it's a fungus that grows on the birch trees. On, uh, on any birch, I do believe. And uh, there's lots of birch here in Newfoundland, especially in central and western Newfoundland. Therefore, enough to make our own chaga rum, which is in this flask. And I'm going to have a nip right now. Cheers to the chaga rum, boss. Oh, a little drip there. Got a hole in my chin. Uh, nice though. There's not many rums you can nip like that that taste uh, nice and smooth. Good job Newfoundland Distillery boys. Good work out there. Look at the side to come over. Hey beer. We'll welcome you with open arms anytime won't we say. Oh girl, what's she doing? Oh, I need good girl. Hey, how long will you stay, Beer? We'll certainly cuddle up with you tonight. If you want to cuddle with us, my girl, hey. Time for supper now. That's looking like a good cooking fire. That's another benefit too of putting these down, is I got a good flat surface now for a while uh, to cook on. It's not gonna be uneven. As long as I keep stacking logs, you know, horizontally or whatever on top, nice and level, easy to cook on. Thank you. Beers first, buddy. There's the big girl. She goes first. Even though it's Saku's bowl. Come on, Beer. Come on, Beer. Your next sack. Come on. Good girl. This red bowl is uh, stay there, sack. I use the red bowl on uh, on the long expeditions, and it's always Saku, so he gets a little distressed when he sees beer eating out of his bowl. Hey, that's okay, buddy. He's trying to get over. Sit down. Sack, hold on, bud. It's okay. Saku's pissed. <laughs> Hey, Zach, listen. No, 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 no. Be nice. Be nice. Wait. 
Good boy, it's okay. You're next, okay? You're next. Go on, sit. Good boy. Go on. Where are we going? Look at Saku, just a savage. You see that? He'll eat it ten times quicker than beer eats hers. <laughs> beer, come here. Come here. Come here, beer. Let's go, beer, baby. Come on, come on. Hey. Open here. Come with Dad. Come on. All right, now it's my turn to eat dinner. It's coming up on eight o'clock now, and just threw on the spuds and onions. Got that wrapped up in tin foil, so it'll be a bit of a slow cook. If I can keep it out of the intense flame, I'll move that in a second. I'll probably throw it in the coals over here. Kettle's on for a hot brew. And, uh, yeah, it's good. Just coming up on eight. Nice long evenings now. You gotta love that. Spring is in the air, boy. You can smell it crisp and clean. All afternoon and evening here, Bear's been doing this weird thing. It's like something stuck in her mouth or whatever. Anyways, I thought it was a bit of moose poop earlier, <laughs> but it's actually something stuck in there. It's like cartilage or something. I'm gonna take it out now. Watch. Come here, bear. Come here. Let's see. Let's see. See it? Right there. It's like stuck in her tooth. Bear, how'd you get that in there? Let's see. See, come here. Right there, do you see it? Can I get it out now? Come here. No, hold on, don't bite me. You have to bite me. Okay. What is that? It's like a moose hair or something, or like moose cartilage. You eat no moose? Do you eat no moose? You're always into something, aren't you? What are you saying over there, Sack? We can't see you very good. Good boy. Coffee time. Oh, it's good stuff. What are you saying, boys? Sun's just setting now. Not much of a magical sunset or nothing. It's a bit of an overcast evening. But it's nice and quiet. And uh, this is when you just sit back and relax, take it all in. Enjoy the quiet time, as I say. Flip the spuds.
Here we go. Dashes are almost done. Chopped up the asparagus. It'll cook a little better like that. Buds are almost ready. It's gonna be a fine feed. The lights out then. All right. Dinner's nearly served. Where's my fork too? It's here somewhere. Okay, let's see if you can see this. There she is in the old cast iron I refurbished a little while back. Just enough to fit it all in. The sausages and the asparagus and then once the potatoes were pretty much done I threw them in the pan for a bit to try and crisp them up. But that's it now, my patience has ran out. Well, uh, time to get in the old belly. Sausages are delish. Oh yeah, delicious. Had a little potato in there too. Mm. It's good stuff. Asparagus are decent. I'll save a little piece of sausage for the old pups. Hey guys. Anyways, I'm going to eat this, call it a night. This was only going to be a short bit anyways, I want to take you out quickly for the evening as I had a little debrief from, uh, from the real world, or the fake world as I call it. <laughs> it's more real out here, isn't it guys? Anyhow, I'm going to eat this, and uh, I'll catch up with you in the morning to check out. I'll be getting out of here pretty early, I'd say. Got lots of work to do tomorrow. I'd like to be home by uh, probably 9 a.m. It's... Probably a 20 minute walk back to the truck and then only a 10 minute drive home, not even. All right, folks, good night. Or it could be good morning if you're watching it in the morning. <laughs> but it's good night for me and good night for the old puppers. See ya. What are you doing? It's a hot fire, isn't it? Hey, hot fire, bud. Where's your beer? Where's beer A2? Sleep behind us. Well, 
we're up and at them it's just before 5.30 now, 20 after 5. We were down by, what do you say, sack? Beer? We are asleep by 11, just after 11. So, just over six hours sleep. Well, I was, I woke up a few times. Cooled off last night, actually, got kind of cool with the wind. So I woke up a few times, but that's it. Wasn't too bad. The wood lasted a little longer than I thought it was going to last. Uh, the fire was warm when I went to sleep at 11ish, and it definitely stayed going for a nice couple hours after. And I still got those three big logs that were part of the, the wall I made up. So I'll burn those now here this morning that'll be it once the sun gets up we'll uh, we'll make a hike out and do a little exploring get the dogs a walk but uh, it's nice now though the winds pretty much non-existent beautiful the stars are out where it got kind of cold last night it uh, coolness I think it killed the remainder of my battery on my on my good Canon camera the fancy one so here on the GoPro now I wouldn't be able to show you the stars but they're out and they're beautiful but they're not gonna be out much longer because the Sun's coming up in the east so time to put the kettle on hey sec yep Time to put the kettle on. Kettle filled for a couple cups of morning coffee. Sack, heel, come on. Over here. Whew. Yeah, the kettle's filled up for a couple cups of coffee with breakfast, but uh, whew, Sack, we just ran out in the river, and right now it's pretty sketchy. Uh, it's, it's open, it's thawed out on the other side over there. See, well, I don't know if you can see, but I showed you yesterday it's, it's running water on one side, and over here it's still frozen. Frozen enough for us to walk on it just on the side as we came into this campsite. But, uh, yeah, she's not safe. I wouldn't want the dogs to fall in. What you doing back there, Barry? You gonna come hang out with us? Barry was our guard last night, weren't ya? Making sure no intruders came in. No coyotes or wolves or bears. The only one bear we want around here is you. 6.15. We got a bright sky out there.
couple oofs. That's it. A couple eggs, bagel, some bacon. Eat the sandwich, feed the pups, and we'll be on the way home. I, uh, I toasted the bread up on the cast iron, real crispy. Mm. I think my old uh, minus 17 sleeping bag is about at the end of its time. <laughs> I've had it now for, geez, I don't know, five years. Part of the reason why I woke up last night a few times is because I shifted and the zipper broke off. And I was too weary to fix it. So I just snuggled up with what I had. <laughs> and uh, over the years, Over the years, uh, sleeping by the fire like I did last night, it's absolutely littered with, with burn holes and, and whatnot, so, and I don't care, I, I mean, I knew that was going to happen, what odds, they can cost me like 120 bucks or something, those cold weather bags, you know, good ones are upwards to five, six hundred bucks or more, you know. So, the zipper's fixable, I do believe. I'll fix it up and keep using it. Hey, Zach. Yeah. But, uh, might be time for a new one for more serious winter camping trips in a normal cold tent of course when I'm uh, sorry dropping stuff everywhere <laughs> that's some gaps eh? losing food to the all the old gaping hole but if I was in the canvas tent my tent with the wood stove ah, you don't need that you don't even need a sleeping bag because I keep the fire going throughout the night all I ever bring with me is a blanket So, what do you think, Mr. Sacco? There's a few outings left in the old... In the old Coleman sleeping bag, isn't there? Yeah, I got a bit shivery a few times. That's why I woke up. I'd say there's... The sleeping bag's a tea bag full of burn holes. So I'm definitely losing heat there. I didn't have a sleeping pad. I was only sleeping on the bows. So I was losing a fair bit of heat conductively through the ground. But it wasn't too bad. Once the zipper broke then I really started losing heat. But I still slept for a few hours after that. That happened like 2 o'clock I think it was. 2 a.m. 
Uh, it's good for the immune system, you know? To get out and sleep in the cold like this. Strengthens the body, you know? Strengthens the immune system. To be exposed to cold and, you know, your body has to work a little harder. It only makes it stronger, doesn't it, Zach? Beer's still out cold over there, curled up. Anyways, I'm dropping food everywhere. The kettle's boiled again. I only have my second and third cup of coffee. Hit the road, dude. How many times am I going to say hit the road? I think I've already said it twice, but. Uh, what odds? We'll hit the road. <laughs> Beautiful morning, no? Winds are starting to pick up again a little tiny bit. Though, it's not supposed to be like it was yesterday today, I don't think. Alright, coffee time. Bear, you're up. Good morning. What are you doing? What are you doing? Beer. Come over. Come over with us. Who's the squirrel? That's a bird. Where's the bird? Hey, boy. Hey, get the bird. Let me get the bird too. Get the bird. Hey. Hey, old sacky boy, old sacky boy, he's the one and only sacky boy, old sacky boy, old sacky boy, we can't forget about old berry girl, old berry girl, old berry girl. She's the one and only Berry Girl. Do do do. Do do do. <laughs> oh, I'm in a good mood this morning. It's lovely. As I said, a nice night out here. It's invigorating. It'll invigorate you. It'll fill your cup right back up. Right back up with new life and energy. You gotta love it. My son, where else in the world can you go to find peace and quiet like this? I hardly want to leave. Sitting back, enjoying my coffee. Don't want it to end. There's nowhere you can go to get this kind of, this kind of relaxing feeling today in this world we live in. Oh. Hits the spot, it does. Hits the spot. Alright guys, had a nice little morning feed and a relax and uh, just getting ready to head home now it's been a great I suppose it was a quick night out we didn't come until geez, a couple hours before dark yesterday evening or just after just after four o'clock we came in here but nonetheless it was a night out and a good one so before I leave I just want to show you a little gift that was sent to me by a subscriber and uh, a fellow Newfoundland and Labrador YouTuber by the name of Wallace and Vivian. I'll link them below. The Wallace and his wife, uh, they go out, they go on adventures, 
they have cook-ups and they cut wood and hunt and fish and everything else and he had a great channel and uh, yeah he sent me over this beautiful gift so what it is he has a, le a nice little le leather piece he made up there leather 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 a <laughs> uh, nice leather piece so with my initials in there JB for Justin Barber not Justin Bieber <laughs> And uh, I've heard that one a few times, and I'm sure some of you have thought it. Funny. That's it. I'm better than Biebs. Now, this one here is, uh, again, my initials put into this little kit. Uh, it has a little piece on the back. You can put it on your belt. I haven't told you what it is yet, did I? But you might know some of you by now. I'm going to take out this little Altoids tin, nice tin, fits like a glove here in this pouch. Nice work there Wallace buddy, that is snug. And inside the, old, the Altoids tin is a fire kit. So he got some fat wood in there and underneath he's got some charred cloth and this tin in fact if I can punch a few holes in there and I can use it as well like I've done this before and make my own chair cloth but Wallace gave me some extra fat wood and chair cloth is back at home in another bag so I got plenty I won't need to make any anytime soon it's nice to have it kicking around and last but not least my it's all great stuff but of the whole kit I enjoy this the most uh, it's beautiful. It's a it's a flint fire, or uh, I guess a, the fire steel flint is a little different, or is it the same thing? I don't know. I call I call it a flint to fire steel. I guess a flint you scrape off the magnesium, the silver stuff, but <clears throat> and you put a spark on that with a striker. But this is a fire steel nonetheless. Beautiful with a piece of caribou antler, I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, or you can, Wallace, but I think it's a caribou antler. If not, it's moose, of course, but looks looks a little smaller, unless it's the tip. Anyhow, it's an antler, and uh, beautiful. Beautiful kit. Fits back in there, and uh, just like that. Slip it in the kit. You can strap it on your wallet and go on. Uh, you know, and if I ever lose it, I should put my, I should put my phone number on back. I guess <laughs> I was gonna say they'd know who JB is, but there's hundreds of JBs, thousands of them in the world, hundreds of thousands. God knows. But it's nice to have it. It's nice to have my little name tag here on the keychain too. Beautiful stuff. So <clears throat> thanks, Wallace. I really appreciate the gift. And uh, that's it. Me and the pups are gonna head out. Hey, Bear. Ready to go? Yeah, Bear's been tied on for a while now, because if not, we know she'll be gone like the wind. Saku's over there. Saku, stop eating moose poop. Come here. Or rabbit poop, or one of them. All right, good boy. So it's time to go. I'm gonna put that bag on now. So I'm gonna put this in here. Stash it away. And yeah, I got a fairly big pack for a quick evening, you're thinking, but I got that sleeping bag, which isn't extremely uh, a compact one. It's pretty big in there as long as with Saku's blanket, that's all in there. And I just got a bunch of whatever I had a, uh, what else? I got my pots and pans and stuff like that. Anyways, that's for another time. But, uh, and the black beers have woken up, so. I have my shotgun there just for a little warning shot or safety or whatever. I like to take it with me as, as most know by now. But, uh, and that's it. So again, thanks for coming along. Uh, it's been a great evening and there'll be more of these to come. So appreciate you watching. Catch you in the next one, boys. Take care. Say see you guys. Saku says goodbye. Beer. Say goodbye. Hey, hey, good, good girl. Hey, good boy, Saku. Good girl, Beer. 
It's a lovely spot. I'll be back here now, I'd say within the next week or so for another cup of coffee and maybe an evening. Uh huh. So we got a we had a moose visitor last night. It's not far from our site, and uh, those are fresh. They weren't there when we came down yesterday. So probably only a hundred yards. Another one there from where we camped out last night. So pretty cool. Moose was hanging out nearby. I heard something down by the river actually, come to think about it now. Uh, I don't know if it was around one or two in the morning. The dogs got fired up for a minute. It sounded like it was just the river cracking, but it could have been the moose. Anyways, on the way out. Hail the whiskey in the day, the boys don't 